the latest software update for the iPhone is here and this is iOS 17.4. Here are all the new features and changes that this update has to offer. In Apple Music, this used to be Listen Now, but now this is called Home. In Settings, under Siri and Search, you can see we have this new tab where Siri can read messages in alternative languages that are not even set. This update also adds six new emojis, as you can see, and two of them, including the shaking of heads vertically and horizontally. Under Face ID and Passcode Settings, Stolen device protection has been updated where it now requires security delay with familiar locations. In settings, there's a new sub menu when you go to general and you go to about and you go all the way down. You can see there's this identifiable region and when you click there, it's unknown. In Safari, here you can see the address bar. When you click and try to search, it's wider and slightly longer than what we had on iOS 17.3. Here under settings, we have a new tab under privacy and security and it's called contactless and NFC and it doesn't seem to be functional as of now. If you live in Germany, this one is for you. In settings, when you go to Siri and search, now in Germany, you have the ability to just say, hey Siri, or just say Siri. The App Store has been updated by allowing game streaming applications now. With this update, Apple is allowing alternative app stores in the European Union. Podcast application has also been updated. You can see you have a new pop-up screen when you open it up. When you play a specific podcast and you go to here, you can see this now reflects the Apple Music app application and not only that if you click here you can see that apple has added automatically generated transcript as you skip ahead the transcripts too will be skipping these tabs that you see on the bottom of the podcast application have been updated to match the apple music application as well with this update they fixed the tiktok application and now if you want to go ahead and upload a picture then you can do that even if it's a video it will now upload correctly unlike what was there before safari has been updated as well and this has to do with default web browsers and you can see the pop-up screen that you will see when you try to set it up for the first time this update also references a mysterious home os update in messages there's a new splash screen when you open it up for the first time for a few selected users there's also a fix when it comes to airdrop where a number of users were having issues transferring from iphone to iphone or iphone to mac and that has been fixed we have a new tab under privacy and security and it's called contactless and nfc and it doesn't seem to be functional as of now reactions in facetime going forward now default to off the notification bug that my friend zolotech has been experiencing is now fixed and it's now fluid and smooth this update sometimes shows a welcome screen that has a hello screen with your face id on it in clock live activities are no longer being put in the dynamic island which is unfortunate in privacy and security settings the wallet connection has been removed in the apple watch application under gestures the vision pro wording has now been removed reverted to Apple Vision Pro. This update also introduces different app icons in the code for the Apple TV alongside other health related icons. If you have an Apple Watch on Valentine's Day, there's different challenges that you can compete in and attain different prizes and icons right here. When you Shazam a song, now you'll be able to see different wallpapers as well. One of the changes that here has to do with battery and now when you go to battery health and charging, you get to see the new status indicator that has been updated. Instead of showing a percentage, now it shows you a status and if you click on the status it shows you all about the warranty and for some reason with this update apple is saying that eight percent equals to about 1000 charge cycles while here on apple's own website about batteries they actually mentioned that 80 percent equals to about 500 charge cycles for other iphones and for new iphone 15 pros this is about 1000 among a few updated applications we have apple maps and carplay that now integrates in different instrument clutters for different selected vehicles when downloading an application for the first time on the app store you see a new pop-up screen and this now shows which medium or device this app is going to be working on and downloaded on 